Hello and welcome everyone to a short guide when it comes to weapons in Valorant. We're gonna start, no bullshit talk, let's just start and talk about the game's um, weapons that you can find in it. And we're gonna start with the classic sidearm, which is the basic pistols that are gonna start in the match every single time with. And it is basically, if I want to make, make a comparison, it's like a Glock in 1.6 TS, basically. Uh, it's um, very good in range of 5 to 10 meters, but apart from that, it... It doesn't really do much damage and it's very inaccurate on longer range so basically when you spam it as you can see it becomes really inaccurate at some point but at the same time when you crouch it actually becomes way more accurate when you spam it so you can use it on on front range but on long range now something like this happens when you can aim at the head and you might not actually not hit it at all See? Even though you aim exactly at the head and the long range, you might actually miss the shot. So be wary of that. It has some in inaccuracy over 50 meters. I mean, over, like, probably even over 30, right? Let's check. Yeah, see? Be really aware of that. So this gun also has an alternate fire, which is basically a burst. As you can see, it's really inaccurate on long range, which is obvious, but should be pretty decent short range. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, it's like 78 to head from 0 to 30 meters, and uh, above 30 meters it's 66. But hey, you can still frag out, and it's pretty decent at that. So it's not the worst, but also not the best. Another pistol that we have is the Frenzy. It's the automatic pistol uh, that we can use in the game. Has a very wide spread. So we definitely don't want to spray this on medium range even. It's the best when just using it close range. And but it's pretty pretty cheap. It's only 400 bucks. Uh, so you can you can take that into the first round. But as you can see, you need to drag it down significantly. To still hit with. There's no alternate fire, so it's just just this. 13 bullets in the in the round in the clip, uh, so that's not bad. But definitely not the best choice of weaponry when it comes to like long range. But that's a given. Now, when it comes to ghost, that's actually one of my favorite pistols, if not the favorite. It's pretty accurate long range when it comes to tapping, as you can see. Still has some inaccuracy when it comes to 50 meters, but hey, that's long, long, long way away from me, right? So it's pretty decent. Has also decent headshot damage from the long range, as you can see. But hey, you can still mess with it. Even though I don't change my position, right? And I shoot very rarely, as you can see, in the head. So I guess you can lower it a little bit. Damn, that's kind of su that kind of sucks. Anyway, as you can see, the pistols on 50 meters are really inaccurate. Now let's see how that works when it comes to the sheriff. So the Deagle version from CS. Hmm. That was a body shot. Body shot. Although I mean at the head, right? So there is some inaccuracy as well at 50 meters. Remember that the Deagle. Also, I mean, deals. So the sheriff above 30 meters deals 100, 100, 145 damage, which is not enough to kill a fully armored target. Like here, here it is 159, right? But we go to 30 meters, and we have 145. So someone with a full Kevlar uh, for the 1,000 uh, credits, you're gonna leave them at 5 HP. No alternate fire at this one as well. Now it goes pretty wild, as you can see. So you're trying to tap it. But that's a given. Alright, when it comes to the shotguns, though, you have an option to get also a shorty. No alternate fire on this one. Oh, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I mean, with this gun, the only option is to shoot it close range. But when you shoot it close range, it deals a lot of damage. Look at this, 144, full body, right? 
156. So fully armored, fully armored um, opponent, you can actually one tap him. 180. If you aim at the head with the middle, you're gonna deal less damage. So always try to aim at like the center of the body mass, like somewhere around like his chest, the forex area, because that will deal the most amount of damage. Because most pellets are gonna hit the body. If you're gonna aim lower, you're gonna deal more consistently damage, right? But you can still miss and deal um not lethal not lethal damage but if you aim at like the forex from the close range it's gonna be lethal one tap so if you're gonna just two tap that's a lot of damage and that's only 200 credits but bear in mind this only works close range and not always you're gonna have this occasion um to shoot at someone like this all right let's go to the smgs so now we have two options stingers and specter stingers for 1000 credits it's decent close range but it has a very big spread as you can see wait actually i'm gonna not gonna i'm not gonna move my mouse at all i'm just gonna press fire so what happens with um with weapons in valorant is that they have a consistent recoil in the first few bullets but after that the more bullets you shoot, the higher the chance is that some bullets will deviate from the normal pattern. So the bullets, so the weapons have, all the automatic weapons have a pattern, but the longer you shoot, the higher the chance is that some bullets will actually go off the pattern. That means that shooting like um, a spray from long range will not always be your choice uh, because you have a chance of not hitting your bullets even though you remember the pattern exactly so that's one thing and also it has an alternate fire when it shoots a burst when you ads so that's the difference you can always tell like when you have the the menu up you can see the differences here like primary fire is fully automatic 18 rounds per second alternate fire gives you a small zoom a four round burst spread reduction and a fire rate of four rounds per second because of the burst right um, the Stinger doesn't deal much damage. It's only 70, sorry, 67 to the head from 0 to 20 meters, right? So even a double dink is not lethal with someone with full armor. It's only lethal for someone that has the light shields, but is 125. And actually, that's not going to be true because it doesn't, it, it reduces 50% of the damage taken until you have the shields. So yeah, uh, this, this guy needs to hit a lot of heads to actually get someone uh, but at the same time it's very cheap it's on 1k now we have a spectre uh which is a silenced um silenced um uh, smg with a decent spread especially if you do short bursts but as you can see the longer you show the bursts the more deviate they can go. But typically they require two dinks uh, to down someone. And from close up is actually pr pretty devastating. So it's a good choice of a weapon for, for like the first buy. Uh, when you're gonna punish someone on an eco, but apart from that, it's kind of it's kind of um, let's say pushed out of the meta game by Vandal and Bulldog, which we're gonna talk about in a second. With the ADS, with the alternate fire, we're gonna get, go into ADS, uh, have a slower fire rate. Normal fire rate is 13.3, while the fire rate in the alternate fire is 12, and you're gonna have a small zoom and a slight spread reduction. Um, and as I said, the damage to the head is 78, so a double dink will be lethal on a fully targeted, uh, fully armored, um, target, typically. And, uh, 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 uh what else, what else? Uh, we have a Bucky, so the first shotgun, it has two ways of shooting. And this actually makes it a more, um, let's say, more of a threat than a typical shotgun, because you can either shoot with the primary fire, which is obviously... The big spread. Wait, wait, wait. 10 meters, please. Thank you. But with the alternate fire, this is really neat. 
you can actually hit a lot of damage with the alternate fire mid-range. Obviously not going to do much at 20 meters, but up to 10 meters, which is a lot of uh, situations when, when you, in which you will find yourself in Valorant. You're going to hit a lot of damage with the alternate fire. Oh my god. Look at this. 345 center mass. So this is pretty neat. But when it comes to the short range, it's also very easy. So, in general, this is a very decent gun that can be used in, uh, like, you know, up to longer short range, I would say. Um, but it is a decent buy. It only costs, what, 100 uh, credits, right? 900 credits. So it's pretty cheap. You can punish people who are rushing you uh, with this. Uh, but also what it can punish people is the Judge. The Judge is the fully automatic shotgun. No alternate fire on this one. But it can deal a lot of damage pretty quick. This is pretty awesome weapon to hold an echo. Um, if you're, like an example, left alone on your bomb site. So it's pretty neat. But it's not gonna be a weapon that you're gonna typically choose uh, in normal buys. I mean, probably never. So that's about it. Then we have the rifles. We have four rifles in the game. Boulder, Guardian, Phantom, and Vandal. Um, the metagame choice will be Vandal, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. Uh, but other than that, we have the cheaper option, which is the Bulldog. That's basically a fully automatic weapon. Now oh, wait, because I moved the mouse in the beginning. So this is, I'm not moving the mouse. Basically, it's a fully automatic rifle uh, that can uh, use its alternate fire and then has a burst and a small zoom. Basically, uh, deals 116 damage to the head. So with that armor, it's going to one-tap people. Uh, has a fire rate of 9.15 and um, that's about it. Has a medium uh, wall penetration as well, the same as other uh, rifles that are going to choose from. So there's no difference between um, all of the rifles when it comes to the wall penetration. Uh, but it's the cheapest one. It's not bad. You're going to find yourself using this gun often uh, because it's uh, the cheapest rifle. Uh, then we go to the, uh, the, to the more expensive options, uh, which is Guardian. Actually, what are we going to talk about Vandal? Because he's so important. Uh, this is going to be the choice of um, weapon of choice for most of your rounds. Accurate with bursts. One taps people basically everywhere. You know? Oh, okay. That was a body shot. I'm aiming at the head, right? Yeah, I am. Wait. Aiming at the head. One tap. I mean, sorry, two taps. That was a head. Didn't move my mouse. So didn't hit it. Again. That seems pretty interesting. So you can actually miss while tapping with this. Not at 30 meters, but it seems like every single weapon can miss its mark at 50 meters. Interesting. Alright, well, still, this is the most consistent rifle, has an ADS with slower fire rate, slider spread. Alright, I don't want to move the gun again. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty big when it comes to, this, to the recoil pattern. So if you want to control that, it's a, it's, it's a beast. Uh, but 
In Valorant, seems like bursting seems the weapon of choice and tapping as well because of the introduction of the of the random recoil when you full, full auto. But in general, if you want to go for the full auto, you can go for it. But I feel like preferred preferred options that you want to shoot with is gonna be short burst and tapping. Now this is this costs 2.9k. The other option for 2.9k is the Phantom, uh, which has it, it, it's similar. Like it has tw five more bullets in the clip uh, than the Vandal because Vandal has 25. Uh, deals less damage um, to the head over 15 meters, which is a big thing. And this is probably why you're going to choose Vandal over uh, over the uh, over the Phantom. Because right here, you're dealing 140 damage to the head. So you're not going to one-tap people. So you're going to have to always practically shoot a burst that's going to aim at the head first and then go into the body. Because you know you're not going to kill most of the people with just a headshot. Uh, unless it's up to... 15 meters then it's gonna be lethal um with the ads you're getting more accurate of course this was with a crouch this is with crouch crouch deals you it gives you a small um spreader action but i i don't think it's that noticeable at least for now so we'll see how that goes um uh, further into development of the game but it feels like when it comes to, to the rifles, my favorite is the Vandal. And when I have 2.9k, I always prefer to have Vandal over, over Phantom. But maybe someone will have some preferences, so we'll see. Now, the other option, which costs 2.7k, is the Guardian. Guardian is um, it's like a hybrid between a rifle and a marksman rifle, uh, because it has a 1.5 zoom on alternate fire. And it one taps people um, to the head, which is a big thing. But it only has 12 capacity. Let's see if it's accurate on 50 meters, actually. Hey, it seems like the first weapon that will hit. Alright, so this is the weapon with the pinpoint accuracy at 50 meters, as you can see. And you can shoot even very fast. Well, that's too fast. Okay, th this is the moment when you're gonna not hit at 50 meters, but hey, it's still pretty damn good. But when you start spamming it, well, then it becomes really wild. As you can see. But when it comes to tapping it... It's pretty damn good, as you can see. This is at 50 meters and I'm spamming and, and strafing. And the body shot deals 65 damage. So double tabs are not enough. You have to triple triple body shot to kill someone. Uh, but a headshot just kills outright someone. The only problem I see with this gun is that um, it costs only 200 less credits than the Vendor. And in most cases, this will kind of say I prefer to have a Vendor than... Uh, um then this gun you know and then the guardian because it ha doesn't have the full auto option and it only has 12 bullets in its clip you know but i really like this gun if this gun would have been a little bit cheaper like 2.5k i probably would buy it a lot of more often o over the vandals sometimes even but right now it feels like it's it's kind of too expensive but we'll see all right now when it comes to the snipers we have the marshal oh and by the way this is a little bit different as well look at this Right, I'm gonna clear it. All the snipers actually do have a crosshair while being equipped. They are not 100% accurate when you shoot like that. But hey, it's pretty damn close, right? Look at 
Wait, is it less accurate while crouching? Okay, I have to admit, this is pretty weird. I was just lucky in those first shots. Alright, let's try it again. Wait, I, <laughs> I crouched. Okay, I think I was pretty damn lucky with the first shots there. <laughs> I think I, I, I think I was. I mean, this is still pretty accurate at 50 meters without a scope. Like, this is not bad, right? This is not terrible. So, yeah. Um, it costs 1.1k. Uh, it has a 2.5 zoom. And it basically deals 202 damage to the head. And that is the most important thing. And also with the other important thing is that someone, if someone doesn't have Kevlar, you're going to one-tap them by shooting at the body. And you're going to always kill when you shoot the headshot. So it's a very cheap weapon that can be very effective. And it's a good choice when you're going for like an echo with a small investment. So that's pretty good. Then we have the Operator, uh, which costs 4.5k damage. And it's lethal to the body, lethal to the head. Uh, and it's not lethal when you hit someone in the leg, basically. So... Mm, it has the same fire rate, zoomed or not, which is different than the scout. Uh, not scout, sorry. What is his name? Marshall. As you can see, this one is not really accurate uh, with the crosser. <laughs> All right, I hit it. So when you just aim with the crosser, you're not going to hit it. But hey. When you're gonna shoot with it with the with the zoom, it's gonna be 100% accurate if you hit it, of course. And it's gonna hit with the headshot, of obviously, uh, or the body shot. So this is like your main choice of snipers in this game. And um, what else with this weapon? All to say. Uh, all right, um, there's one big change in this game. You can see the red dot disappearing from the crosser. This means that you're moving right now, and the, it's not really accurate. When you have the red point, it's 100% accurate. But when you're moving, obviously gonna go off. Alright, and then we have the heavy weapons, we had, which we have two. Aris for 1.7k and Auden for 3.2. Uh, Aris is pretty cheap, but deals not so much damage when it comes to the headshot, which is 72, which is less than the Spectre. So... The obvious advantages when it comes to this uh, to this gun is the fact that you have a 50 clip, uh, 50, 50, uh, 50 bullets in the magazine. Okay. As you can see, it goes pretty wild. But it's a good weapon up close. Did you see that? I actually missed those shots. <laughs> it's like an Ali G. You make an outline. In general, I feel like if I would like to use Ares, I would probably use Spectre instead. But there is a scenario when I would prefer to have this gun if I'm alone on a, on a BS. And uh, if I want to penetrate walls, because it has, has high wall penetration, so I can actually scan through, through the walls. One is a very important thing. It has a wind-up, so it starts with 10 fire rate, and it goes up to 13. As you can hear, right? And with the ADS, still the same fire rate, so you don't lose the fire rate. But there's also a big difference that I wanted to say, uh, and I forgot about that at the beginning of, the, of, this, uh, of this guide, is that when you shoot with the ADS... Uh, you, the bullets follow the crosser. When you shoot outside of the ADS, the bullets don't follow the crosser. So it's like more like when you do hip fire, it's more like CSGO because the bullets just go, you know, over your crosser. But when you ADS, just look at the bullets following your crosser. So 
So for most people, it will be way easier to control the recoil. 188. But it kicks a lot to the left and right, which is hard to counter because you never know if it's gonna go this way or that way. Like this. Alright, and then the last gun is Odin, which has actually a big difference um, from, uh, from, from the Ares. It has 100 bullets, which is a lot. And it has a big difference when it comes to ADS and not and non-ADS. With the primary fire, so the hip fire, you're gonna have a wind-up as well from 12 to 15.6 fire rate. As you can see. It, and here, basically. It really goes wild after a, a brief second. And there's also wild recoil. Mm, yeah. But it deals a lot of damage, has a lot of stopping power. Deals 95 to the head, so a double dink will kill people. Um, not from the long range, though, because above 30 meters is going to deal 144. But it has high, high wall penetration, and it has a slight zoom with the uh, with the ADS. And it's what is very important, it starts with the faster fire rate while ADSing, so it has no wind-up. It insta just fires with the faster fire rate. But when you ADS, you can't go. You can't. Sorry. Uh, if you ADS, you don't shoot from the first moment you ADS. And I'll show you. Basically, I'm gonna press fire like milliseconds after I press ADS, and it's not gonna instantly shoot. It has like this short setup that you have to put the ADS in um, to enforce it, you know? As you can see, right? It just has this movement like whoop. And this is the moment when you can start shooting, even though you hold the fire. And if you hold fire, you can't go into ADS. Uh, so you can transition from hip fire to ADS. All right. I guess that's it when it comes to the um, a very basic tutorial and with Valorant weapons. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, see you guys next time.